So yeah, just for anyone in New York, basically. Okay. Well, i am uh, been asked to talk a bit about how it came about that we moved church. I gather you particularly been looking at the prophecy side of it. Well, you probably know that ever since we've been up at Coddington, we've felt that we really belong in Newark. And from time to time, over the last three years, we've been praying especially hard that God would find us somewhere in the middle of town. I think we thought, you know, we'd have to find the rental or even have to put down a deposit on a mortgage or something like that, and that in itself was quite daunting. But this feeling that we really belong in Newark's never gone away. And the latest time when it really came up and it seemed to be important for us to get praying about it was early autumn last year. And Chris's prophecy that he told you about last week really came up in response to him hearing that we were praying extra hard for somewhere in the town. And also that there seemed to be at the time a possibility that we might get the old Salvation Army place on Albert Street. Johnny had shown me that it was on the market and we even went to look once or twice but it fell through as you know. So we really put it on the ice and I remember saying to the other leaders, well it's great that we had that apparent opportunity, it's great that we're praying and yet it's great also that Chris had that prophecy but maybe he got the timing wrong. One of the things I found out with prophecies is that very often the actual instructions are right but that the timing's a little bit suspect. So I rather put it in that category I must admit. Then about um, beginning of March I had a meeting at our house. Every month or two the church ministers in Newark get together for a, what we call a fraternal which is basically just sandwiches together and we chat through stuff and it's a good way of building friendships and trust between different churches and on this occasion first time in ages it was actually at my own house and at 12 o'clock half an hour before the meeting was meant to start I was trying to have a bite of lunch with Margaret who had to go off to work and the door went and a bloke called Bob Franklin from the Congregational Church who I barely know turned up on the doorstep thinking that it was time for the meeting. I was a bit not because I wanted to spend the time with Margaret and uh, he'd gone and got the time wrong but being a good host I didn't tell him he'd come half an hour early. I made him a cuppa and we sat and we had half an hour to kill and so it's one of these times when you're just trying to make polite conversation and as part of that I was asking him about his church and he was asking me about our church and how we were doing and I really just said to keep conversation going, oh we're desperate to find somewhere in Newark, you know, it would be wonderful if um, God answered our prayers. And that was the end of that. Soon everyone else arrived and we had our lunch and meeting together and went our separate ways. I thought no more about it. Until the Good Friday March, just two days before Easter. And it was a good march and we did what we usually do, ended up with a worship time shortly, a short worship time in the marketplace. And as I was preparing to go home afterwards and, you know, start my Easter holiday, I saw Bob, he's very tall, right at the back, sort of waving at me, beckoning me, and he came hurrying over and he said, you know, ever since we had that chat a couple of weeks ago in your house, um, something's been really bothering me. I think God's been trying to tell me that maybe we've got the answer to your prayers. Maybe we ought to look at shattering our church building with your church. I was a bit gobsmacked because, as I say, I, of all the ministers in the town, I, I know plenty of people better than him. I'd never even been in his church building. It's one of the few I'd never been in, and I knew nothing whatsoever about it. But he said, it's one of these things I keep trying to press it away, but God keeps reminding me and nagging me to talk to you. And so that's how it came about. Um, bang on time, really, just as the prophecy had said, um, two days before Easter. And so um, the rest is history, and now Bob and I got together as soon as we could shortly after Easter and talked about it uh, shortly after that. Talked about it in the leaders, and then Lewis and Johnny and I went to meet with some of their folk, and to cut a long story short, here we are. We've arrived, and God's promise was true and Chris was right for once he got the timing right which is a, a fine skill 
and uh, God was true to his promises and we look forward to all the other promises that he's given us. Before.